Good afternoon. This is Dave Villers. I'm superintendent of Clover Community Schools. Um, just want to give you a quick announcement or two as we head into spring break. And I'd like to start off by saying as we head into spring break, uh, for this well-deserved time off for our students, teachers, and staff, I want to take a moment to thank you, the district families, for your continued support. The family school partnership we build here in Columbus starts with the same goal of providing children with the very best education and a warm, safe learning environment. Being back in our buildings this year is a result of your diligence in monitoring symptoms, adjusting to safety protocols, and staying flexible. Your commitment has made it possible for us to be celebrating a successful year with very minimal disruption. I'm grateful for your dedication, but we must remain vigilant in following safety measures so that we can continue to mitigate the spread of coronavirus through our schools and the community. Here at the district, we are optimistic that we will be able to provide in-person learning for the rest of the school year, but we are prepared should we need to to return to remote learning at any point. As part of National Reading Month in March, we supplied all our students in grades kindergarten through eight with an at-home learning packet perfect for unpredictable days off and to encourage continued learning. We also have a robust online learning program available for our high school and junior high students, which is something we relied on when Coloma High School was closed, along with the rest of the high schools across the state by the governor's order in November and December. Of course, our hope is always to remain in-person learning throughout the district, as that's what's best for our students. To that end, through the partnership we've built between Coloma Community Schools and the Berrien County Health Department, we were able to hold a vaccine clinic for our teachers and staff last month. Our teachers have done an incredible job throughout many of the challenges we have faced over this past year, so I'm grateful that the Berrien County Health Department was able to provide this service to them. It's hard to believe that we've reached the final quarter of the school year, and I hope you will join me in being excited about what is still to come. Hopefully we'll have proms and our graduation will go off without a hitch, and our seniors will celebrate with the rest of the students as they successfully prepare to move on to the next grade level. Speaking of preparation, while we focus on finishing up the 2020-21 school year, we're also getting ready for next school year. Enrollment is currently open, so if you have family members or know of someone in the community that's looking to enroll their child for the 2021-22 school year, we encourage you to recommend Columbia Community Schools. The enrollment process is easy, and everything a prospective family will need is on our website. You can also get information by dialing 468-2424 or emailing info at ccs.coloma.org. We are eager to meet our littlest learners joining preschool, our young fives and kindergartners in the fall when they will have access to our state-of-the-art early childhood classrooms. Again, we deeply appreciate your ongoing support and commitment to your child's education. We understand the importance of providing a safe learning environment to the children of Coloma, and we will not let you down. So have a wonderful, peaceful, and relaxing spring break so that our students come back ready to finish the school year strong. Remember to stay diligent, protect your safety measures while you're on spring break, relax, enjoy yourself, and above all, stay safe, healthy, and positive, and go Comets. Thank you.